It's a growing epidemic today and one of the greatest threats to America's health and economy, childhood obesity. Statistics show about 32% of children and adolescents are obese or overweight, and almost 20% of all children ages 6 to 11 and 18% of those ages 12 to 19 are also considered obese. So many children are obese mainly because of the eating habits of the parents. See, the parents teach the children to start eating junk food, fast food, sugar foods. They reward them with sugary foods, as well as they uh, dr are drinking themselves fat by drinking too much sodas and fruit drinks and smoothies, as well as they're not participating in regular physical activity, but they're sitting at home playing computer games, watching TV, and just not getting the activity their body so badly needs, as well as portion sizes. The portion sizes in America have gradually increased. As a result, doctors say these wrong lifestyle choices can lead to a greater risk for numerous weight-related health problems. Well, the health risk factors of childhood obesity include high cholesterol, high blood pressure, um, heart disease, acid reflux disease, gallbladder disease, as well as uh, type 2 diabetes. But also, many of these patients with um, obesity, childhood obesity, also have ADHD because they're eating sugar, and sugar causes many of these patients to uh, have hyperactive behavior. In addition, type 2 diabetes is now considered a new epidemic among children and adolescents. It's estimated that the incidence of diabetes is going to double or triple in the next 20 years, which many fear could collapse our health care system. Many obese children will eventually develop type 2 diabetes. And I tell parents that type 2 diabetes is a choice disease. You see, you catch a cold or you catch the flu, but you develop type 2 diabetes from making wrong choices, such as choosing the wrong foods, foods that are high in sugar, foods that are high in fat, by choosing to be obese and by choosing to be sedentary. Type 2 diabetes is escalating at such an alarming rate in children that what will happen in the future is diseases that occurred at later dates in adults, such as heart disease and such as acid reflux and such as cancers and other diseases will start to occur at younger ages in children. Also, the complications of type 2 diabetes, including uh, the nerve disease, the cardiovascular disease, the kidney disease, the eye disease, all the different diseases associated with it can literally increase the uh, cost of health care because of the treatments that these diseases entail. Dialysis is very expensive. To solve this national crisis, many believe it's critical that schools and communities start to play a role in the prevention of diabetes and obesity in children. Schools can definitely help prevent childhood diabetes as well as um, obesity by simply eliminating all these soda machines. Incorporating regular physical education for all ages, as well as making the lunches healthier. Because many of the lunches have desserts, lots of high glycemic starches, lots of fried foods. Simply preparing healthier foods will help tremendously in decreasing this obesity epidemic in our children. Today, our federal government has taken notice and new initiatives have been launched to combat these major health problems. The government is helping in a way to combat the childhood obesity and that they're trying to push for getting rid of the sugar or the sugar beverages and vending machines, the sodas, as well as helping with uh, better lunches, as well as instituting PE, physical education programs. And Michelle Obama is on a campaign to improve the health of school lunches, which is great, but it doesn't start with the government, it starts in the home. Popular, well-received books, such as Eat This and Live for Kids, written by Dr. Don Colbert, are also providing parents of all school-aged children a roadmap to eating and living healthier. The key principles for healthy eating are primarily teaching the parents how to select the healthy foods that they need that are tasty, that the children will actually enjoy. Teaching them how to get rid of the irresistible foods that are making them obese and then taking their child to the supermarket and showing them. And simply teaching these simple principles, the parent will learn exactly what they need to do and then teach the child what to do. Many parents say these principles are making it easier to raise healthy kids. The key principles of eating healthy are choosing nutrient-dense foods like fruits and vegetables, lean meats, low-fat dairy, as well as removing irresistible foods, junk foods, 
fast foods, removing snacks and cookies and candies, as well as removing the sodas and choosing healthy beverages like water and teas that are sweet with stevia, and then practicing portion control. Dr. Don Colbert created the Divine Health Wellness Clinic dedicated to helping people around the world live and thrive in better health. I practice integrative medicine in Central Florida, which incorporates conventional medicine with nutritional medicine. You see, most doctors will simply first prescribe a medication or recommend a surgery, but I try and get to the root of the problem, which is usually an emotional, a dietary root, a, a nutritional root, or an infectious root. And so, see, the word dis-ease will eventually produce disease, but it starts with dis-ease. So what I want to do is get to the root of a person's problem, and that's why I've written so many books that literally looks at first the nutritional components, the dietary components, and the emotional components to disease instead of reaching for a medication to turn off a symptom. Childhood obesity has nearly tripled in the last 30 years. But the promising news is that the condition can be reversed by applying simple principles that are giving children a better chance at healthier lives. To learn more about the Divine Health Wellness Clinic, call 407-331-7007 or visit drcolbert.com.